and we begin this half hour with a Metro Detroit charter school opening its doors to more than 100 Ukrainian refugee students. Good afternoon. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Brian Abel. And I'm Glenda Lewis. The stories of more than 4 million refugees who fled the war-torn country are heartbreaking, yet inspiring. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaket brings us more on their remarkable journey. For the first time, Ukrainian refugee students are speaking out, sharing their own personal stories of starting a new life here in Metro Detroit and coming to a new school. They are brave and fearless teenagers now living far from their homes. These five young Ukrainian refugees, all traveling from different parts of their war-torn country, escaping harsh realities of a battle with Russia, all of them traveling through Poland before flying to the U.S. I came here with my young brother and mother. Uh, we ran away uh, because it's because fear. Here at the AGBU Alex and Marie Manugian School in Southfield, 125 children like Vladislav Kozar from Ukraine have come to seek safety and a new start. I bring only clothes in, two, um, two coats and one jeans. The public charter school is donating clothes and other resources to them after they quickly fled with a parent, grandparent, sibling, or in some cases by themselves. From Poland to USA, I uh, by plane emigrate. My uh, uncle with his family live uh, in USA. Ukrainian students study English as a second language here, along with other traditional classes, and are embracing a new culture, but still remain focused on a family that stayed behind to volunteer and work. Glib Tomashenko is 17 and arrived just five days ago after traveling through Poland. Like these other students, he's living with relatives in Metro Detroit. I uh, escaped with my grandma. Uh, my parents uh, still in Ukraine. Classmate Victoria Komin doesn't understand the reason for war that began with a Russian invasion. She just wants to be reunited with loved ones who she can still thankfully talk with by phone after being here for only three weeks. With my own heritage being Russian and Ukrainian, I'm able to ask in Russian what she wants us to know about hardships she and others face. She says it's very difficult to leave everything there, and everything is new, starting a new life. New student, they bring so much fresh air to the school. Both a mentor and teacher, Lilith Bablomian, left Armenia for Russia, then immigrated to the U.S. She and high school principal Josep Tarosian, stressing the importance of community support and welcoming young refugees who've left everything behind. I'm super proud of the students. I'm super proud of our school because what we do, I think it's very important. This is downtown Lviv. We have to understand the plight of refugee people all over the world. And uh, we have suffered quite a bit in our history, uh, you know, in Armenia. Their work here goes far beyond the classroom, part of a calling serving students from all over the world of every race and ethnicity, giving a bright future to kids who've escaped the darkest of times. If you'd like to help donate to support the school's efforts, just go to our website, WXYZ.com, for more information. From Southfield, Simon Shaykhet, 7 Action News. Incredible to see them make it out and make it here to safety. An incredible story by Simon. Simon, thank you.